Doomhammer. The light shall bring victory. I'm gonna mulligan all of this. I don't want to keep Excavated Evil uh, in my opening hand against Shaman. Despite it being a very powerful card in the right circumstances, uh, A, it could be a mid-range Shaman deck where that's not a very effective use of my resources, at least for much of the game. And also, it's generally better to have a proactive position and use your removal uh, effectively in that way rather than try and just come back from behind so frequently. The light protects me. Dragon? Yeah. Shields up. It's bad against Flame Tongue. I'm using that I could play Wormrest Agent, which is uh, with this in my hand, which is good against this and Flame Tongue. Um, but if he doesn't have Flame Tongue, then I'd rather have this in play to just be able to attack things and be able to like, pain the Totem Golem attack this and save this for later when it's when it's valuable. Though maybe that's actually just wrong. Maybe it's better for me to just play this this turn. Despite the fact, yeah, maybe, maybe Worm Rush is a better play there because both of them afford uh, afford potential taunts later on. Well, we drew a dragon, so now we can use this. No flame tongue. All right. So dragon. Hey, there you are. Okay, so he is actually mid-range. It's actually kind of awkward because if he is playing mid-range with, uh... With, uh... Thunder Bluff, then pain is actually very valuable, but I need to stay with the tempo of the game. I really want him to play a Flame Wreath Faceless, because I have Death and Entomb. I played a Totem Golem for that long. There's its second Lightning Bolt. I guess I'm just entombing the Totem Golem. One card left. We have one one card left now. Wow. Ours is Ysera. He's already used the hex. Hopefully, he doesn't have Thunder Bluff Valiant because I can't kill it right now. I think actually, it's a pretty big board. Lightning Storm. <laughs> yep. At least he didn't roll high on this. Interesting they got rid of this. Well, now he's guaranteed taunt totems, but he can't generate more. Yeah, Lightning Storm was a card that made totals, so this would just be waiting in his hand, so that was not terribly surprising. Taunt totem, just guaranteed. Mana Tide. That's really bad for me. And thing from below in the same turn. All right. Well, hopefully he doesn't find a... Uh, Another hex, because we're just gonna play Sarah here. Awakens. Laughing sister. Nice. Yeah, this this is a problem right now. Azure Drake. Pretty good to refill. Could really use like excavated. Flame Tongue. I really need that Excavated Evil now. And this Manatide Totem is wrecking me. Show it to me, Excavated Evil. Corruptor is not bad. I think it's better for me to kill this than it is to kill this. I shall bring you I wield the power. Alright, well, 
Well, we can play this into this next turn. It's got a lot of cards off of the Mana Tide, which is obviously very problematic. Did you bring some fish? Yep, business as usual. Thankfully, like, he needs to have something. He's already used Rock Biter and two Lightning Bolts and a Lightning Storm. So his ability to, like, actually uh, generate additional damage to kill Ysera is not clear. Okay, there's the other Flame Tongue. Kill both of these. Technician. I think I'd rather play tech. Eh, would I rather play Drake or Tech? And like we kill, we kill these two. I'm game. Like, this is pretty obvious. And then I heal myself because I can't heal anything else. And I obviously play Guardian. Well, Guardian's only okay is the thing because he can kill it with this and this and this stays alive. But I think I still want to play Guardian. I play Guardian Drake or Guardian and Tech? I think I probably play Guardian Tech because it, it, it leaves Drake in my hand to enable, like, if I draw another Corruptor. I don't think I've played my other Guardian. No, I have played my other Guardian. He killed it earlier. I think I played these two. Okay, Rockbiter. Yeah, that's good. Let's him clear. That's both Rockbiters, both Lightning Bolts. Oh, goody. Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. Feral spirits, okay. My kingdom for an excavated evil. Still got shots at it. Corruptor's very good. Uh, attack this, attack this, corruptor this. And I'm glad that I kept the Emerald Drake in my hand to enable this corruptor. And now I'm just playing the Drake. The only thing that goes wrong here is if he lightning storms me. He's already played one lightning storm. These two cards from Ysera are, are proving to be pretty huge here, just get, generating the additional value in this like you know game that's going on kind of longer. Yep, and now he's just kind of playing, you know, having to play defensively here. I kind of want to kill... We're going to kill these totems. And then push seven to the face. I'm killing two totems uh, to play around Thunderbluff Valiant, and the spell power totem to play around the possibility of, of that into like some sort of burst there. Not to my face, but to my guys. Okay, well there's the flame reef face list. He did draw it now. We do have the the Emerald Drake to kill it though. There's a death, so we don't need to trade our Emerald Drake. So we death this. Eat this. We just go 10 to the face, Lightning Storms, not even that bad. And we set up Lethal for next turn. Because we have 13. Like, even if he has Thunder Bluff Valiant, he totems, and then he can kill, like, one of my guys. Alright, there's Feral Spirit. He's not dead yet. I sadly can't heal this guy, so he's gonna have to trade. Hey, there's a crusher. I could just pain one of these if I really wanted to, to save, like, this guy. I think I will. Pain this. Attack here. Attack face. Attack this. Heal myself. So even if he lightning storms, A, he might miss on this, and B, I have both of these. I could have put him to one, but there's really no particular reason to put him to one. Yeah, he's dead. That was actually a really interesting game. My Ysera was like super, super, super good. Alright, I gotta do it. Oh well. Nothing exciting. That was a sweet game. I'm gonna kill this guy. I don't want it in play to potentially enable a, uh, a battle rage off of Pyromancer. 